I start with playing cards. Are you, are you familiar with playing cards? Yeah. Because I love, um, that was my first love, was playing cards. And I, you know, I do do pick a card and then put it back, that kind of thing. But the more magic you can do, the more mentalism, which is the kind of mind reading side of magic. So I'd like to please cut anywhere you want. You can cut there or there or there. It's entirely up to you. Cut wherever you want, and then have a look at whatever card you cut. You can show other people if you want to, or you can keep it just to yourself. It's up to you. Okay, and you can show everyone the card. I'm not going to look while you do it, but show everyone the card. Okay. And uh, just let me know when I can turn around. Yeah, you can turn around. So I want you to just think if that card is a red card or if it's a black card. Just think if it's red or if it's... Yeah, this is a red card, I think. Yeah. It's quite a nice card as well. You're quite happy with it. You've got a bit of a lovely smile on your face. <laughs> I think you're quite happy with this card. The Nine of Hearts, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. We can do one more time. Yeah, yeah of course. Oh, should we go again? Yeah, of course. We'll do one more. Come on, take it any way you like. Oops, sorry. And uh, just to show you from the card. Okay. And uh, so I can turn around? Yeah. Wonderful. So, uh, again, just think if this card is a red card or if it's a black card. I'm keeping a good poker face this time. <laughs> I think uh, I do think this is a red card again, though. Yeah. And it's actually a high card. You're 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 happier with this one than the last yeah. one. Jack of Diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Wonderful. Thank you. Let's try something a little bit more complicated this time. Um, So what I've just done is I put one card in a specific place inside this pack and I'm going to create a connection between you and anyone here that you like. Um, I'd like you to please think of a card, it can be any card you want. When I say to people think of a playing card, they think of the Ace of Spades and you know, the Queen of Hearts, they're very generic cards. There are 52 cards in the pack, there's clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, there are number cards, there are picture cards. It's entirely up to you. You can say out loud which card would you like. I can say. You can say, yeah. I've already uh, made a prediction. Uh, would be seven, mm -hmm. seven, and uh, what do you call it? Hearts. No. Come on here if you want spades, <laughs> hearts. <laughs> yeah, done. Yeah, this one. Okay, the seven of clubs. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. a random card. Then the seven of clubs. Uh, who should we make this connection with? Here? You, you tell me. Seven of Clubs, so, um, so the Seven of Clubs is in this packet somewhere, so we need a number in between 1 and 52. Which number would you like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 13. Okay, that seemed to come to you quite quickly. Please ask him where the number 13 came from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like just, it just um, came just in. Like that. Yeah, it just came into your head, right? Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's an interesting way. Yeah. Yeah, Let's like get all these cards out here. I'm going to count down 13 cards, and you can see me do it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is number 13, yeah? That's the one you wanted, card number 13. And what was your card say? It was the seven, seven of... Yeah. Seven of clubs. Yeah. That's true. Can you please turn over the 13th card? Beautiful, the seven of clubs. <laughs> at position number 13. Great. If you would have gone one card later, that would have been wrong, wouldn't it? Or one card earlier, that would have been wrong. It had to be exactly the seven of clubs at position 13 for that to work. So a beautiful connection. I don't know. You guys very well done today. <laughs> I thought I'd do uh, a little bit more of a kind of mentalism one. This is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, I will put my wallet here before we start. There's something inside here. Uh, so I'm from the UK. Do you ever go over to, to England? Yeah, yeah. Study. I, I studied here. You studied in England? Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. In, in, in London, Hampstead Hill. Hampstead Hill, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful part of London. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, do you stay in contact with any of your friends from, uh, from England? Uh, not really. I mean, when I was studying in the 80s, you know, they don't have any 
uh, you know, email, or, you know, and the, most of the people, you know, students came from the Europe and, you know, Brazil and America, different places. Of course, of course. Well, tell you what, I'd like you to just think of someone in England, someone that you know in England. This can be anyone. It can be uh, someone you met on a trip or um, someone you enjoy spending time with when you go to England. Yeah, yeah. They, anyone yeah, like yeah. that. Okay. Now, when I do magic, I like everyone to be involved. I don't do kind of one-on-one. -on -one. I want everyone here to know the name of this person before we do anything. And people accuse me of hearing when I go away and whisper to each other. I found the easiest way, if you just put the first name there, you can just show everyone at the same time, and then you can just fold it back up like this. I'm going to turn my back, so please just let me know whenever you're ready. And please, obviously, no one say the name out loud. Okay. And is that piece of the pen? Yeah. Thank you very much. And that piece of paper is folded up. Beautiful. So everyone who's seen this name now, yes? We don't need this anymore. In fact, I'm going to hold, are you going to hold on to that? Drop your hands out flat. Just take all the pieces of paper for me. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll get rid of it in one second. Thank you so much. I'd just like to get rid of that anyway. <laughs> So, you're thinking of someone in London. There's no way that I could know this person. You haven't said the name of this person out loud, have you? Well, well I think. Whoever it is you're thinking about, how long have you known them for? Uh, for a long time. A very long time? Yeah, yeah. Wonderful, yeah. So, this is someone you've known for a like, very Yeah, it's like a family friend. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, you think <laughs> you'll see this person again maybe next time you get to it? Yes, whenever I go, I always meet. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so yeah, this is something you have a good connection with. That's perfect. I put my wallet on the table. That was the very first thing I did, wasn't it? That was before I asked you to think of this person. No one's gone near this, have they? I just want to show you inside here. In the wallet, I've got a second wallet. I've got a little mini wallet. Inside here, I zipped it up inside this compartment. I put one of my business cards. I don't want to touch it. Your Excellency, please take it out. And just turn it over. And say hi to Shiraz for me. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. <laughs> Is it actually Shiraz? Say hello to Shiraz for me. Is he here? Just hear me. He'll be in there somewhere. Zoom. Wow. So I can keep this car. Please do, yes. Be sure to Shiraz. I will, I will send down today. <laughs> Do I have time for one more or is you, it? No, no, you have time. Wonderful. Let's do one last piece. <laughs> this is um, this is one of my favorite pieces of uh, magic. I, I really love this. I have uh, 50 business cards here. On the back of these business cards, I wrote 50 of the most recognizable people throughout history. It's not the richest or the most popular, it's the most recognizable faces. People like Muhammad Ali, uh, you know, JFK. Bill Gates, Mel Street, Martin Luther King. I mean, some people are alive, some people are dead. Lionel Messi, uh, Oprah Winfrey, Elon Musk, Marilyn Monroe. You get the idea, like 50 of the most recognized Um Take uh, take any one of these. Just grab one. And please just show everyone the name. I don't want to look at you. Okay. 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 And then just put it back in here somewhere, please. It doesn't matter where it goes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, I know the 50 names on that list. I mean, I wrote them all out. What I don't know is the one that you picked. I'm going to ask you kind of yes or no questions. I'd like to please just think the answer. Please don't say anything out loud. First, actually, you can say it out loud. Do you know this person? Do you recognize this person, the name? Yeah. You do? Okay, cool. Thank God for that. It's <laughs> made, <laughs> made it easier. Um, so, uh, I'm going to put my art degree to good use. I've got one of my business cards here in a pair of scissors. So, uh, firstly, I want you to just think if this is a man or if it's a woman. If there are men and women in this list, just think whether it's a man or a woman. Yeah, okay, I think that this is a guy. Oh, that's what I did in art school. So. Okay. And this guy, just think whether they're alive or dead. They're past and present people, just think whether he's alive or whether they're yeah, okay, I think it's probably a lie because um, yeah. when you ask people when, if they're dead, you get a slight kind of melancholy of their face. So I think, I think that this person is a lie. By the way, I will clear up all of this. No, 
Um, and I want you to just think what this person does for a job, because there are actors, there are politicians, there are movie stars. It's yeah. none of them your excellency, is it? This is something else. I think I know who it is you're thinking about. I'm just going to focus for a second because your eyes are quite difficult. This, this, this hair is spiky. Okay, so there's all different types of people on this list. I put actors, politicians, movie stars, uh, singers, celebrities, sports figures. I think, um, I think this one was a footballer actually. I don't think it was. There's a lot of movie stars on there. Now, I'm done cutting here. You can say out loud, what was the name of the person you picked? Who was it? Uh, David Beckham. David Beckham. David Beckham? Okay, well look, say hello. David Beckham, that's yes, a pretty yes. good David Beckham, isn't it? It's cut out my business card there. <laughs> <laughs> This was his prime time when he was having the... the yeah, when he had the spiky hair, the spiky exactly. Hair. Yeah, exactly. So... How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, I have a, a magnet. So, okay. Just take a second. There's your little cutout. Thank you. It's been a real honor. Thank you so much oh. for having me here. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Next time you can, uh, my favorite uh, lady, you can make it for the, her. Lady Diana. Lady. He loves yeah. her. Yeah. Princess Diana. Exactly. He's very fond of Lady Diana. Oh, Princess Diana? Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Yeah. 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 Princess Diana, and yeah, yeah. you would really like it. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'll do that for Big sure. Big fan of her. Yeah, she's a wonderful lady. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Excellency. So, uh, my name is James Fabulous, I'm a magician and mentalist. I've come to His Excellency's Palace and I've done a little magic show for him for some magic and mind reading. It's an absolute honor to be here. Uh, I'm absolutely in love with Dubai. It's an extraordinary, extraordinary city and the UAE has been incredibly welcoming to me since I've been here. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much for having me here. I really appreciate it. <laughs>